Hello, my name is Dr. Jadhav. I am a senior consultant radiation oncologist at Indra Prastha Apollo Hospitals, Delhi. I have been into the practice of radiation oncology for the past three decades. 70% of our cancer patients require the need for radiation therapy at some point of or the other during their course of cancer illness. We have so far been using gamma uh, therapy or other gamma rays that we have the x-rays through the linear accelerators. Most of our centers in India have now the linear accelerators which uh, treat with x-rays or so-called photons. But we in Chennai Apollo have set up a new kind of treatment called as the proton therapy. It's a proton treatment therapy. X-ray therapy or the photon therapy, they spill out into the rest of the body tissues. They damage the normal surrounding tissues and the critical organs, thereby having side effects which, which you don't get to see in the proton therapy. Now, proton therapy basically is useful in base skull tumors, in the CNS tumors, that is the neuro, uh, central nervous system tumors, the prostate, the breast, and the lung. So because of its specific uh, targeted nature, we can give very high doses to the tumor, thereby giving a very high cure rates with proton therapy. The main indications for proton therapy are the pediatric tumors that in growing children, then we have in the base skull tumors, then we have in the CNS or central nervous system tumors, head and neck tumors, lung cancers, prostate cancers, breast cancers, name it. You can use proton in many of these uh, cancers. So I think proton has got a very good advantage over X-ray therapy or the photon therapy when it comes to minimal or no side effects with greater curability. Proton therapy, unlike photon therapy or the X-ray therapy, is unique. This is very target specific. It only treats the tumors, thereby sparing all the neighboring normal structures. In the process, there is no collateral damage to the normal surrounding tissues in the body. For example, they enter the body through a very low beam and then they peak up called as a brack peak and then they sudden, when they hit the tumor, they fall down. That is called as a brack peak. So we try to fit in the tumor into the brack peak and there is no or zero radiation beyond the tumor. That means the tissues beyond the tumor are absolutely safe. They do not get any uh, radiation from the proton therapy except other than the tumor so it is absolutely safe particularly in patients where we would like to treat like in children where the children are growing we want to prevent secondary malignancy in children as they grow up in future or sometimes these uh, treatments can cause uh, deformity in their growth with proton therapy there is no such deformity possible the advantage of proton therapy is there is no exit dose. It hits the tumor or the target and then falls down. There is zero radiation beyond the tumor. Whereas in X-ray therapy, there is a lot of radiation spillage across into the surrounding tissues. So the future of radiation therapy looks more of particulate radiation therapy in the form of proton therapy, carbon ions, etc. So today we are lucky to have protons in India. I think this is the opportunity for us to make use of this proton facility in better care of cancer patients with least morbidity or least side effects. Thank you.